Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Sir Co-Chairman. Uh, I will shift you from the basic or more to a clinical and applied microbiology. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes we can see that how simple bacterial infection may be misdiagnosed and causing a lot of uh, suffering to the patient. Here we have a case of a primary actinomycosis. To our knowledge, it may be the first case reported in Kurdistan, Iraq, or even in all Iraq. As we can see, actinomycosis is a chronic infectious disease of the cervicofacial area, thorax, abdomen, caused by the anaerobic gram-positive bacteria, which is called actinomyces reilly. It is a common cell of a human and characterized by a suppurating fibrotic inflammation, which spread directly to the contagious tissue. The main clinical types are cervicofacial, thoracic, abdominal, pelvic, and the, pulmon and the primary actinomycosis, which is a very rare. The infective agents are member of the normal flora and frequently cultured from bronchi, gastrointestinal tract, and female genital tract. They are considered as opportunistic pathogen. Two groups of actinomycetes are recognized according to their metabolism, the fermentative type, and the oxidative type. The first causes actinomycosis, while the second include agent causing actinomycetoma and nocardiosis. It has been suggested that poor dental and oral hygiene, in addition to frequent trauma, may provide the entry for uh, the portal of entry for the bacteria. To our knowledge, as I mentioned, it is the first case report in Kurdistan, in Kurdistan, Iraq. Here, we have the suffering of 55-year-old woman presented to my clinic with multiple discharging sinuses on both legs multiple discharging sinuses on both legs since nine years duration with a slowly progressive course and she was from rural area in Kurdistan. She, she had been seen by many doctors and visited different areas and even she traveled to, uh, to Turkey for also for management but all uh, diagnosis and the treatment was failed to improve her condition. So a best physician, a good physician, he should be a good microbiologist. Because I have a good microbiology basis, it, this case it came to my attention that there may be something and there may be some microorganism causing this, causing this a chronic progressive multiple discharging sinuses with, long, with this long chronic course. Just bacteriological study, including macroscopical cultural examination of the discharge, and this is important, the crust taken deep from the lesion revealed actinomyces as the causative organism. Just gram-positive, we can see gram-positive staining of the deep crust, and we can see this gram-positive tangled uh, branching uh, characteristic, microscopical, microscopical characteristic of the actinomyces. Good response with complete healing was noticed after four months of treatment with benzathine penicillin. Why we use benzathine penicillin? She was from a rural area, away far from any near central health to give, to take care treatments. And therefore, I prefer to prescribe her one of the long-acting penicillin, which may need to be injected once a week with high doses. And as you can see, that complete healing, this is, have been taken just four months after treatment, and even after another two months, there was no any, just only the scar of the uh, lesions. Actinomyces was common in the pre-antibiotic era and is less frequent now. But we are now facing a problem that the emerging of a previous diseases, such as returning back to uh, what we call to, 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 to tuberculosis and other diseases. This may be related to either abuse, uses of antibiotic, or 
uh, not just not in a proper uh, doses or for the proper period. The clinical presentation of this disease, which can, the, which can affect any organ, uh, are available, and the disease has been called as the most misdiagnosed disease. The presentation of the studied cases with the slowly progressive chronic discharging sinuses on both legs since nine months brought our attention to this characteristic diseases as to be as may be the diagnostic the diagnosis in here. Bacteriological diagnosis was obvious, simple gram staining, although we haven't do the facility to do other sophisticated uh, diagnostic tools such as PCR. Although the presence of sulfur granules is characteristic in, in, the, in, uh, in most of the cases, however, it was absence in this case. It may be, uh, but its absence does not rule out the diagnosis of the disease. Since the chronic course of the disease and the usage of different tropical and systemic therapies may have influenced the appearance of these uh, granules. Actinomycosis must be treated with high doses of antimicrobial for a long period, intravenous administration of 80 to 24 million units of penicillin for two to eight weeks, followed by oral therapy with penicillin or amoxicillin for another six to 12 months may be used in serious cases. However, since our patient were living in a rural area far away from any health center, we found it most practical and helpful to use a long-acting penicillin intramuscularly weekly to avoid a frequent visit. The excellent response observed by the disappearance and healing of the sinuses was a delighting. Primary actinomycosis is very rare. Its clinical representation is variable. Therefore, awareness of the full clinical spectrum of the disease is important, which should be aided with bacteriological study to confirm the diagnosis. And thank you. overlooked by my medical doctors and there are the reports from Germany that people have stayed for a long time in many clinics so the, the, the people were thinking they had the tumors but it just was an uh, infection by uh, actinomycosis. Yes. <coughs> so uh, often it's important to use the streptomycin as a prep antibiotic to, to, uh, to prevent the disease especially if you have a uh, infection with Locardia, Mycotoxin, or something like this. So, what do you use or when successful by using penicillin? Why I use this penicillin? No, why, why not use it streptomycin? <laughs> oh, streptomycin. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I preferred it. I see this literature to be most, uh, it, may, it may be more safer without side effects. Mm -hmm. It will be better and it's available and cheaper That's without right. side effects. Well, not yet. For sight, yes. For a long period, it may affect, yes. Yes. Which is very strange because I know from a search from one colleague in Kentucky that they only use streptomycin. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm also interested in the follow up. The suggestion of uh, streptomy, uh, streptomycin, uh, but my in uh, my contribution is uh, like in draconculiasis, where you have the presentation is just like what you have shown. Uh, we often find secondary bacterial infections in the wounds. So I'm thinking also uh, you should have also considered that possibility, secondary bacterial yes. infections because of the seriousness. Yes. Yes. Of, uh, the, main the, pro the main problem, and this uh, prolonged, co uh, pr prolonged course, uh -huh. was that all bacteriological studies just taking swab or testing the discharge without going deep to the crust to see this bacteria. Yeah. And when, when she came to us, it have, she has taken a lot of uh, antibiotics, different types. Uh, so after we do a good uh, washing of the area, 
uh, to kill any superficial bacteria. And then after that, we have gone deeply and we taken the crust deeply from the sinus and we, we discover this type of bacteria. Okay, thank you. Yes, even, even culture, we, we confirm the culture. And after we culture it, we take a gram stain. We perform a gram stain from the deep crust and from the culture. I mean, in, in the leg, is there only one um, microorganism present? In or one there area? Many microorganisms? In one area? Yes. Yes. No, no, we have, ta we, we, we have taken uh, different samples from both legs. <coughs> no, no, there was many different other uh, type of bacteria with it, but we have considered as a secondary bacteria infection, not of so obvious. We treated the case as a primary actinomycosis. Yes, there was a staff, there was a, yes. No, no, actinomyces, actinomyces. Because we have noticed this improvement, this improvement within. Uh, what? Oh, it was given a previous, you, 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 you can imagine nine years course of the disease. This is the problem. Okay. What? No. But we asked for the sensitivity for allergic to penicillin previously, and she have taken uh, this procaine penicillin and other types, she have, was not allergic. There are another uh, drug to treat uh, this uh, disease, or uh, just a benzatine penicillin? No, you can use different types of, uh, as my professor know, this is uh, a wide type of, anti there is a wide range of antibiotic you can use it. But we have chosen this because of the situation of the patient. She was living in a rural area. She was away. She can't uh, take daily injections. We prefer this type of long acting to be given once a week. Because they contain uh, benzati benzatine, it's not strong, toxic, thickly aromatic. No, to my knowledge, benzatine, benzatine penicillin is not, not that toxic. Uh, 